good morning everybody sitting in the truck fixing to take off I'm fixing to head down to South Texas for a three-hour drive and uh, gonna meet up with a new friend a new contact and uh, spend the night with him and uh, speak at his club they're actually down in South Texas where I'm headed they're starting a new club and I'm um, also until March I'm the president of the state of Texas Association of Metal Detecting Club so I'm gonna go down there and speak about uh, our association and uh, also share my recent trip to England and my upcoming trip to England and so I've got a ways to go so just sit back and relax and enjoy the ride and I'll turn the camera back on when I get there so we'll see you at the field arrived it's kind of windy down here in South Texas uh, just waiting on uh, Jack to get here and uh, then we're gonna head out to the field but uh, three hours later here I am so I'm ready to get in the field ready to do some detecting see what we find well I met Jack and uh, he showed me over here I want to show you this that's orange trees and tangerine trees this is an orange tree all these oranges and here's the tangerine tree and these things are sweet and ready to go another orange tree another orange tree and check this out this is a grapefruit grapefruit more grapefruits grapefruits I've never seen real orange trees and grapefruit trees out here this is really neat and then this tree here, check this out. Right here, you have tangerines. And then right here, you have oranges. The lady, um, what do you call that? When they take the tree and they, they graft it in? She grafted in the tangerines with the orange tree. Look at same limb, tangerines and oranges. And then we got a kumquat tree over here. This is a kumquat. When you take this thing, when you eat the peeling and the meat together it's kind of a sweet a little sour I just wanted to show you all that all these orange and tangerines and grapefruits I'm gonna pick me a grapefruit kumquats are pretty good too let's get this one right here wow and they're sweet it's just like going to the store I'm gonna get about a bag of these before I go home and uh, take them home with me and eat them as snacks check that out that's pretty neat isn't it all right well let's get we're fixing to go swing and uh, do some detecting so I'll see you out in the field all right we're out here on location today uh, we're out here with Jack Duke he's with uh, the south what was it southeast Texas yes sir relic relic hunters I'll be speaking at his club tomorrow when he's kind enough to put me up for the night and take me out to hunt today and hit a confederate camp tomorrow but he's brought me out to this location here that dates back how far back do you think this dates uh i know the 1880s it's old look at this folks when you walk up on trees and it's got spanish moss hanging out of it that's old got an old live oak tree there live oak tree there you can tell this is an old location old homestead so we're going to give it a whirl see what we come up with we find anything we'll put the detect the uh, camera on it and we'll show you so let's go have some fun well i'm going to be sitting up today I'm just going to start out hunting in 
park one I'm gonna be full horseshoe and uh, we're gonna have our noise cancel at negative five we're gonna leave our ground balance there at zero volume at 25 no threshold uh, we're gonna leave our accept and reject at negative nine and recovery speed at five that's where we're gonna leave it for today and I may change it up here in just a little bit uh, so uh, we'll leave our sensitivity at uh, 20 may bump it up to 21 all right let's get to swinging well I haven't been out here I've just swung from there around the tree I was getting an 18 to 19 and it's something round in the hole it's something right there oh it's gonna be a shotgun just a shotgun no shotgun stamp all right let's keep going getting a solid 12 13 about six inches deep let's uh live dig this let's see what we come up with could it be a nickel maybe an old buffalo nickel maybe an old v nickel maybe an old shield nickel it could be just a piece of trash let's see what we got here let me lay my detector down Well, where did it go? Let's see if we can. Okay, it's gonna be in the hole here. I mean, the plug. There, it's gonna be right there. Nothing. Well. It'll be some type of uh, piece of metal. It's gonna be nothing. Let's keep going. Well, we moved on from that other location. We didn't find anything there. The wind's horrible out here today. But uh, we pulled up on this field right here, and right across the street's a slab. They tell me where the commissary to a sawmill, and then we're just working this little area right out here. And right that building, right through those trees right there, is the sawmill. So all out here is supposed to be a sawmill area. So we're gonna check that out. But also the story's been told that it's supposed to be a Confederate camp over here too. We're gonna to find out more about that. But let's see, swing around here a little bit, see what we come up with. All right, we find anything, we'll turn the camera on and show it to you. Let's go have some fun. Well, we're out here at this sawmill and I uh, got my first decent, just a lot of trash out here, just tons of trash. But I, I thought I would try to get away from the sawmill, out away. I got my first signal and it's a coin but I don't know what kind of coin it is let me uh, get my other camera and we'll clean that up and we'll see what it uh, looks like uh, together looks pretty dirty so I guess it's time to break out the holy water Well, it is an old one. It's uh, not an Indian head, but we're getting close. 1913. So, uh, that's hopeful. We're getting to going close here. Let's see if we can keep going and see if we can get one down to about 1908, 1909 and earlier. All right. At least it's something. Let's keep going. We've moved on from that other location. Didn't find anything out there, but we come up to this 19, early 1900s home right here. And uh, we just first target was a 1909 Indian head penny so we got permission to hunt all this there used to be an old convent on this side of the yard and it's gone it was early eight late late 1800s so we're gonna focus in over there and then all over here we got this big old field over here so we're gonna go see what we can come up with so let's go have some fun maybe this will be the place we can find some uh, good coins wanted to show you guys this this is another tree those are lemons. I picked about 20 of these off of the tree already. See if I can get one. They're, they're almost as let's see, here we go. They're all they're about the size of a small orange, but they're actually lemons. And so uh, let's go have some fun. 
Well, I got an 18 to 19 to 20 jumping around. Now I know why it was jumping around. It's because it's a shoe buckle. Uh, actually, it's a suspender buckle. And uh, I just looked these up the other day. They are, there's the name of it right there. I can't make it out, but these are from 1871. 1871. Uh, Solide or something like that. They're from Paris. Paris Solide or something like that from 1871 is when they were making them. I've got several of these. I've dug in old ghost towns and stuff. All right, that's a good find. Let's keep going. Well, here's a organ reed. Dig a lot of those up at the little houses, but this still has the uh, the reed on the inside of it there. That's the first time I've dug one that had the piece in the middle still there. All right, let's keep going. Just been hunting up here by the house just finding stuff around here came up through here and got a good signal here in the 30s I can tell what it is it's an old lock check that out check that out that's 18 at least 1880s it's a heart heart lock let's see if it has a name on it there we go M W company J let's see here no M MW Company. I have to look that up and research that. That's still in great shape. Has no initials on the hasp up here. That's a beautiful lock right there, folks. That is beautiful. MW Company. Check that out. I'll take that all day long. Find out who the MW Company is. It could be local here. All right, let's keep going. Well, we finished up out here at this, uh, what was this, a 1904, 1924? Like this home, whatever year it was, we found a few good things out here and uh, found more trash than we found anything, but we still had a good time. But uh, let me spin you around and show you what we got. We got finds from an AT Pro, an Ace 200, and the Equinox. Who's going to win? Who's going to win the competition today? We got Jack Duke. Jake, Jack? Is Jack and his son Trinity right here. He's the hunter with a 200 and the AT Pro. And here is uh, Jack's uh, finds. Here's all his trash. Typical stuff that we found. That was yesterday too and today. But today he found a roofing hatchet. Got him a key, some modern stuff. But he did get on the board with a 1943 uh, silver Washington quarter and a 1943 uh, silver nickel. So uh, he did good. But let's see if he got first place or not. Then Trinity, hunting with a 200, he goes out there in the backyard, right over there, comes back a second later, and he digs up a 19, what was it again, Trinity? 1903, 1903 Indian Head Penny with an Ace 200. How about that? Killed it, man. Killed it. I say he killed us, too. Because <laughs> he killed me, because all I got was, uh, I got some modern money here, harmonica reed, a toy car key a dog tag got a accordion reed and my best finds i got three wheaties and they're very old wheaties at that uh probably right at 1909 i can't even get a date off of them but my best two finds are going to be these two things right here i didn't get any coins but i did get relics i actually got the oldest thing on the board uh trinity got the oldest coin with a 1903 jack got the best coins got two silver coins but if you're going to go gauging oldness, I've got an 1871 suspender buckle from uh, Paris Salide, I think is what that is. And also this uh, lock. And it says MW Company. We're going to look and see what year that was. But just the shape of the lock, and check this out, it even works. I'm going to clean that up and, uh, and get that all working again. A brass lock. That's uh, at least 1880s being the heart-shaped lock. At least 1880s is maybe older. We'll see what that is. There's all my trash. And uh, so there it is. There's all the treasures. There's the trash. Like I always say, it's not what you can dig up in the earth. That's the greatest treasure. The greatest treasure is in heaven, my friends. Keep searching. Keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just want to say happy hunting and God bless.